Now here with men's athletics director Steve Patterson, Charlie Strong, the new head coach. First off, what is the significance of this hire for this program? Well, I think it's a great uh, representation of the brand of the University of Texas and shows the diversity of the state and, uh, and what we're doing with our program here. You know, I think the great thing really for us is we didn't sit out on a path to make any kind of a political statement. We went out to try to hire the best football coach we could find in the country. And Charlie's had great success, you know, coach of the year a couple of times in his conference. Uh, exciting defense, great team to watch, a lot of passion. We're really happy to have him here. How did he first emerge really on the radar with this search? Well, I think you can't look uh, out on the landscape and not notice uh, Charlie Strong. He's had a lot of success at Louisville the last few years, and before that as a defensive coordinator at Florida, win a national championship and everything. Um, we looked at probably 30 different candidates, uh, whittled the, uh, the list down, and uh, flew to Louisville and uh, sat with him and his family and you know, really had a great day of conversation with them. It's great to see Vicky, his wife, and his two kids, and... Uh, the great family that they are and uh, the great coach that he is and the great impact he's had on, on that town. We knew a lot of people that uh, uh, operate uh, businesses both in Louisville and, and in, uh, in Texas and they all had wonderful things to say about him and what he's done in that community. What was it specifically that kind of let you know, okay, this is the one? Well, we really had a list uh, of specific coaching criteria uh, that we worked with our committee on and, and also with a committee of uh, lettermen that we met with at the Alamo uh, Dome. And, you know, as you go down the list and see all the kind of things that you want to see in a head coach here, uh, certainly his passion, his discipline, his ability to develop the entire student athlete, uh, somebody who's creative and ethical, uh, somebody who will honor the lettermen that have played here before, among other things. Uh, all those criteria, he knocked it out of the park on in mixed sports metaphors. And for you, how did you balance the feedback that you got, search committee, Letterman, but also the experience that you've talked a lot about, not your first rodeo, not your first time going out to hire a head coach? How did you balance all of that? Well, we're a large institution. Uh, we've got a lot of voices, a lot of input, a lot of opinions, and, <laughs> and many different stakeholders. And uh, so that's really part of the job is you've got to try to balance that, uh, take into account what a number of folks have to say, you try to get them involved in the process, uh, take their opinions, weigh that. Uh, but at the end of the day, any executive in any major organization has got to make the decision. And so uh, after balancing those all out and, and hearing from a number of folks and actually going through the process and interviewing people and, and looking at what the criteria were, it wasn't a hard decision. For you, what is this like to make this hire? Really the first major decision you've made as men's athletics director. And where do you go from here? Well, I, you know, it actually, I think, was... Uh, very fulfilling uh, to, to work with Charlie and get to meet him, get to know him better, and, uh, and bring him here to the University of Texas. I think we've got a lot of great days coming uh, with the football team. You know, now we can really sort of turn to the rest of the business and, uh, and start looking at how we operate overall, how we continue to grow the brand, uh, grow the business side of the aspects, uh, look at all the facilities that we're working on, whether it's tennis or basketball, football uh, from here on out. So uh, things probably move into a more normal operating procedure than, than they have been the last month. But work continues, to say the least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Mr. Patterson, thank you so much for stopping Thanks. by. Congratulations yep. on thank the hire as well.